Hey everyone and welcome to today's video which is going to be a super super long video because I'm going to do this all in one go. I might take a break here and I rest my voice but I want to hit one video and go. Um, but today is going to be my complete color book collection and my finished pages all in one super long video. If you're not have good internet it's perfect to do instead of doing it partly uh, or in parts I'm going to do it in one go and have it all done in one place. Now before I get started I'm going to say that these are in no particular order except for the first two books. The first two books I did pick out to do a, a kind of comparison where I can show you my on my very first picture I ever colored and I can show you one of my very newest color on, on coloring pages. So you can kind of see where I started and where I've kind of gone to and I also want to say that there are four or five books, I think five books um, that I will not be showing in this video that I do have in my collection just because they are Happy Mail gifts and I want to officially Happy Mail them, like haul them in the uh, Happy Mail video. So I will be posting that either Saturday or Sunday. This will be coming out Friday. So um, look forward for that. But those are in my collection. I just set them over there on my bed. All of the other books are over here on my desk. I just want to kind of say that so that way if the people are watching that sent it, they know that I am, I do, I have them. It's just, it's not going to be in this video because I want to officially happy mail them before I put them in the video, you know. So I'm going to show you this in different increments. I think I'm going to show you all the happy mail books first because they're closest to me. And then I'm going to start tackling stacks. So I do not know how much books I have. Um, if you want to keep count, you can for me. If not, I will try to count at the end while I put everything back up and everything like that. And I put like a total somewhere. But so let's start with the first book and let's get started. So the first book that I ever bought, or one of the first books that I ever bought, it's the only one that I still own. I, I donate all the other ones, but that was um, A Million Cats by Lulu Mayo. Um, this is my second copy. I do have another copy that I have a picture done in, so you'll see that as well. Uh, if I do have multiple copies of books um, that I haven't colored in, I have, will not show them. I think that there's only one, uh, there's only two books, no, three books that have duplicates of that I will not show, and I'll mention them when I have duplicates. So the first picture that I ever colored from this book was this page right here. I started coloring right there on 10, 13, 16. So two years, I thought it's been three years, but I think it's two years officially um, that I've been coloring. I thought I started at 15, but 16. So I used um, Crayola color pencils and Leisure Art color pencils. And I really, I'm happy how it came out. When I, when I first did it, I wasn't really happy with how it came out, but now looking back, I am happy with how it came out. And so I do have a second copy of this book. I think I'm gonna exacto knife this one out and put it in a frame that I always know like right when my start date was. So that's the first picture. And then I think have another whip. Yeah, I had this page that I started as well with the Leisure Arts and the Crayolas. Um, I just never finished up the last one there. I kind of I got into a slump there for a while with my coloring, and I didn't pick it back up. I make sure there's nothing else in here. No. And one of my most recent, I'm just gonna be just like set, let's throw these on the floor so you might hear the clunks is from the Jasmine Becky Griffith Halloween book. And this one I just finished up last week and it is this one right here. So you can kind of see where I went from. I should not have thrown that book. <laughs> you can kind of see where I've come from with this right here to this in two years. Now this is also using Prismas, which I'm not saying the Prismas are the reason why I've gotten better, but the Prismas do lay down better than some, and as well as after I've gotten practice with the pencils, and this is also with Cali Arts on the bottom of it, so I always think that with Cali Arts as a base, like the alcohol mark as a base with pencil on top, it makes it look even more um, realistic and artistic, I guess you say, and that's of course some stickles, and one of my favorite things to do is to take um, acrylic paint as a background uh, on the um, frames of these pictures, but I'm really, really super happy with how this one came out. Um, but yeah, I don't have any other things in this book yet. I'm going to give you mini flip throughs of each of the books. If you want to see any flip throughs of the, uh, any books, let me know. I'm going to be getting a planner this weekend. I'll write it all down um, so I know when like books are needed. Like flip throughs like that are needed. So that is the Halloween one. So that's my new oldest and my newest. So now all of this is going to be random. I was going to start from newest to oldest to the beginning, but I was like, that's going to take way too much time because my memory is not very good. I have bad memory. So I'm just going to grab from my half meal stack and then I'll grab from the other one. So yeah. So I have 
Next to show you, Twilight Garden by Maria Trolle, or Troll. I have done a few in here. We did this one here um, on video. It has nice, nice sparkly gel pens. This is um, Milk po uh, Milky Pop, Sparkle Pop, and I think this is all like Scribbler stuff gel pens. The gel pens do not bleed through. They ghost through ever so slightly, but not enough to tell. And I think that is it from here. I have one more whip in here. I can find it now and I need to come back and finish. That wasn't my whip, but I'll show you in a second. Here you go. I have the cat picture here to finish up. I just never finished it. Um, this book was sent to me in Happy Mail and there are some pictures like this one here that was started and this one here that was started. I'm going to be finishing them up and um, culling them as well, but I just haven't got around to it. So that's Twilight Garden. Next, Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. I have two uh, Hannah Carlson books. And this one I have done a lot of pictures in because I love Summer Nights. It's probably one of my favorite coloring books of all times. So this is one of the first pictures that I did in here. This is with Prismas, um, a little bit of gel pen for the crown, some um, stickles for the flowers on top. You can't really see, you can see a little bit. It's like mostly shiny. Um, and then Derwent watercolor pencils for the background here. I was really happy with how I was able to uh, kind of blend the, uh, the pencils together for like a first time doing that with watercolor pencils. Then this one you will have seen on my channel. I did this one as, as a speed color for um, Anne from Color of Life's birthday, uh, birthday. So obviously I had to pick the Fruit Bat page. And this was colored with color gel pens um, and Arteza pencils and a little bit of black acrylic paint for the background. Let's see. I know I've done, I think I've done four or five pictures in here, which isn't a lot compared to how big the book is, but it's a lot for me for one book. I think the book that I've done the most pictures in is Romantic Country, The First Tale. This one here I have started, I haven't I even picked back up yet, but I wanted to do this one in watercolor pencils. I started it, like I'm going to do it, and then I just never picked it back up to do it. So I have that one as a whip stage, and I have these flowers. They had like kind of like stamens coming out of them, but I didn't feel like doing them. So I just kind of black painted and splattered over it. And then this is with, this is with Prismas. And this is with um, a white gel pen and the pearlescent paint, a uh, pearlescent paint set, a watercolor paint set. And then some silver sparkly gel pens to do the chains here. Then, let's see. We had this lock and key area here. This is done with the Prismas. Um, sp uh, sparkle Pop gel pens for the keyhole or the key lock itself. And then, of course, some splatter effects. I love to do the splatter effects anymore. And then my grasshopper, he's done with um, gel pens. I didn't like how the flowers were coming out, so I just blacked all of them out with black paint. I did my uh, background here with uh, the um, Derwent watercolor pencils. And yeah, I think that's it. I, I, was, I only used like a little bit of a paint pen for the white. See, that's that. And then I think that's it. Yep, that's it for Summer Nights. Next, Jewelry Box. I only have two whips in here. I love this book, but I have not. I like this is the kind of book like I'm really really loving and I like I'm intimidated by it because I love it so much I'm like I don't want to mess it up so I haven't colored in here yet that much so I only have two whips I will be finishing a page soon because we're going to be doing a like, color along or color and chat we're going to use it as uh, in this book so that I have her skin done I liked how she turned out but at the same time I didn't like how she turned out so I haven't picked it back up yet there's nothing like wrong with how I did it I just don't like how I did it like 100% so I didn't pick it back up then we have this one here. I started with Prismas. Oh, the skin tone for the other lady's face was Prismas as well. Um, and I like how it's coming out. I just have not pick it, picked it back up yet. And could we pass one? We do. Yeah. This is the page here. We're going to do from Jewelry Box as a color and chat or color along if you want to join in. Then I think that is it. Yeah, that's it from this book. Absolutely beautiful book, but I'm just very easily intimidated by it. Next, we have Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. 
and I have finished one picture in here. You'll be seeing a lot of these pictures again at the end of the month in the coloring update because of the fact that I it's still the same month, so I need to show it. But I did this page right here. This paper here is a learning experience for me because it is super smooth paper. So, like, you have to go in, like, very light pressure, which I still to this day am practicing my light pressure. I am still very heavy-handed at nature, or by nature, or by, like, normal, whatever you want to call it. So it was hard to come in here with, like, blending and everything like that. But I do love how it turned out. And then, of course... A whole bunch of gel pen work because this is like an enchanted air, like an enchanted world, enchanted pictures. So it have to have a lot of um, sparkly stuff going on. So yeah, I love how this book is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be doing a lot more pictures in here. I think this is one of the next ones I'm going to be doing in this book. I had it marked there. See, so yeah, I think that. Yep, that's it. And then I just finished up halfway finished up a book from not even gonna try pronouncing that but this is magical delights by clara markova and i just started doing this page right here this is just a base layer of cali art markers and yes it does bleed through but you can still if you want to do the picture on the back with gel pen or even pencil you'll be able to do it just kind of a little bit of color to it but I'm going to come in here with my Prismas later tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because this is probably taking about two hours to film. So I'll probably do this tomorrow. But this book is absolutely gorgeous. I, Clara Markova's um, artistry is just beautiful. And this paper is just about the same. It has a little bit more tooth than the Tenderful Enchantments. But it is just the same. Amazing. So I put this bookmark back in here so I know right where it's at. Okay, let's move on to this pile right here close. We have... Pop Manga Mermaids and Our Sea Creatures by Camilla de Erico. I have two pictures in here finished. I did this picture right here. I just recently did this one with Prismas. This is some watercolor. It's like a pearlescent watercolor to it, so you can kind of see the shine of it. Um, Prismas on top, and then just a whole bunch of splatter paint um, for the background. Then let's see. Then one more. Right here. This is the first page I've ever done this book. This one had like bubbles in the background and then I, um, sorry, I'm just trying to move a pillow in the back of my back. Um, I had bubbles in the background and I didn't want to do all the bubbles. So I just blacked it out and put, um, my circle effects in there, like for the bubbles, which is like a quarter, some spare change, and you just circle it up. And then got a little bit of gel pen for the skulls. I don't think how it'll really show up. But yeah, that's it for this book here. It's gorgeous and could definitely be doing more in this book. So the next one, I do not have anything done yet, but that's Pop Manga. I just received this one this month in Happy Mail, and I have not done anything in here yet. I'm going to do it soon, but I think I'm going to do him first in this book. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little more creepy, I guess you'd say, than the Mermaids one, but all the same, just a gorgeous, gorgeous artwork by Camille and Erica. Next, World of Flowers by Johanna Bassford. I keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which my Johanna Bassford favorite one is. I have to say, I think it's World of Flowers. You'll see I have a whole bunch of Magical Jungle books, but I think World of Flowers is becoming my favorite. And I have done one in here. I've done this page right here with Prismas, um, Derwent watercolors, and just a little bit of gel pen. You'll really be able to see it. Um, but I like how this one comes out. I'm going to do the black background going over to this page as well. Um, yeah, I don't have any more. And I think with pages like this page here, there's a lot of pages like this are like really busy pages. Let's see if I can find more um, in here. Like this page here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is do like that. I think it's called sectionalism, where you kind of like do a circle and then paint the rest stuff like that. I think I'm going to do that with these pages in here. So that way it doesn't like, I don't have to do every single thing in here, but I can like make a big circle, meet like small circles all around the, on the page of um, the book. But I love this bit on this book. It is amazing, just like all Johanna Bassford pages. Next one is The Time Chamber by Daria Song. Um, I haven't colored anything in here yet. I'm going to plan on doing it soon. I just got this one the other week. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This one does have a lot of smaller details in it, um, but 
this one's would be nice to kind of like take my like start it and kind of like take your time like go over like a long period of time you kind of just pull it out when you want to do small details like the detail working the night voyage also by Darius song i don't have nothing complete in here yet because i just received it but i will be showing you the picture i'm going to do which is honestly i might actually switch it to this one but i'm not sure for the time being i had it set i want to do this page here. I'm just going to do this circle here. I'm not going to do the gifts up at the corner. I just want to do the circle part. See, this one's really, really amazing. Yeah, I've seen some amazing finishes from the Night Voyage. Next one is Menuet de Bonheur. Don't probably butcher that name, but this one is absolutely beautiful. I have finished one. Let's see if we can get to it. I did this page right here with Prismas, Derwent's, Color, um, color gel pens, some markers. I tried pretty much test uh, a whole bunch of mediums out on this page just to see if they work and they do and they do not, um, bleed or ghost through anywhere. So yeah, I absolutely love this book. I'm going to be doing more. I think the next one I'm going to be doing is right here, the cats in bed, or I'm going to be doing, so I get to it. this page here for Christmas with all the different animals. Yes, I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. Next from Alan Roberts, next three will be two, this one, the next two will be from Alan Roberts. I have uh, the Ghost of Christmas, um, Ghost of Christmas by Alan Roberts. I have, excuse me, Hiccup, finished this page right here. I did a tutorial on the snow and it's very, very stickily. Um, I, you can use the alcohol markers because it is single side in this book. But I think there's a lot of flip throughs of this. I won't flip through it too, too much. If you want to see it and get my opinions on it, I will do a flip through of it. From The Beauty of Horror 3 by Alan Roberts, I have done a few. I have this one in the whip stage. I was going to do like a dead aerial type of look for that one. And let's see. This is the first one that I ever did. This is with Prismas and a little bit of gel pen for the collar there make sure you are in focus yes you are and then i have guliana here i did this tutorial on how to color guliana if you want to see how i do her skin and her whole outfit basically um i have a whip here this one here the double pager i just did this cart here the, the backgrounds and paints and that's all i have done so far with this one i did the ticket booth which we did this on camera as a color and chat. Um, if you want, in, I, I, if you are interested in that, I did this one with Arteza pencils and some gel pens. And then I've also done this clown here with some with Prismas, and then some gel pens. Then I done just the tombstone here. And then from Beauty of Horror one, I have one picture finished which is this one right here. It's the first one I did when I got the book. I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's my favorite picture in the book. It's like, I have to do it. This is with prismas and gel pens. You can kind of see the nice sparkly area around there. I think that is it from this book. Yes, that is it from B4-1. Next, we have the Coloring Heaven Misfits Special, which I did do the cover. I did the front cover. I just put black there and the back cover. And I have done a few in here. Let's see if I can find them all. I have this one as a whip, which I have not touched since I did the markers and stuff on there yet. I have to come back and finish it. Let's see, I've done this one here. This is with Bic markers, um, Prismas, and then some watercolors. This is Bic metallic markers for the wheels and the railing. This paper does work really good for a lot of different mediums. This is the first one I ever did in here. This is with um, Crayola sidewalk chalk for kind of like the pink pastel background. Um, she's done with a little bit of gel pens and um, Stether Norris color pencils. He is done with um, the Derwent watercolor pencil just not activated. And then they have a little bit of gel pens on the background. I 
This one here I did with Prisma's uh, pearlescent watercolor for the teddy bear. Um, and then this is all watercolors with Prisma's to shade it through. And then just a little bit of gel pen for the sign. This one here I used a black acrylic paint background, some markers, and then some shade with Prisma's. And then watercolor for this and a little bit of gel pen for the shark fins. We have this one here, which I did, I think I did this one as a color and chat, I believe. I think I did, I can't remember, but I think I did. And we used Prisma's um, some gel pen and the Derwent's again for the sky. And that's it for the Misfit special. From the Hannah Lynn special, I really need to pull this out of work front more. I did this cover part here, not from the back so far. I've only done one picture so far. Cause I was, or actually did a lot of pictures in here. Forgot about that. So I have done a lot in here. I have done this one here with markers and some Sharpies. I did these back, oh, that's why I remember when I did these. I did these for uh, Zoe Archer, I think it was. Was it Zoe Archer or was it Color and Chat was saying I did a um, Hannah Lynn month this year. I forget, but I did these with markers. This has markers and stickles on it for just a nice sparkling. And this one here is one of my favorite ones ever. I This one took me like a month to do. I just kind of tackled it very, very, very slowly. Um, and I love how it turned out. This is uh, the exclusive in the Color in Heaven um, one. So I did that one first because all the other ones are in... I think most of these are in the... Um, Storybook Darlings pay, uh, books, I think, pretty much. I could be I could be wrong, but I think most of them are from the Storybook Darlings coloring, uh, coloring book from Hannah Lynn. And then I have a few done in the color of my sketchbook Gothic by Bennett Klein. I have done... Let's see. I just finished this page the other month. I or not the other day. I'm kind of debating if I want to come back to these and shade them with pencils, or I just want to leave with markers. I like how it turned out. But I just used the Cali Art markers in here so far. I've done this one. This is the first one I did in the book. I really like how he came out, and I just did him the other night. I love how he turned out. He turned out exactly how I was picturing him, and of course, did you bleed through? So you have to keep the bottom some pages behind there. And the Bennett Klein ones, I don't know if this is all of them, but this one, um, it's like copy paper. It's not like the normal, um, create space paper. So I don't know if this is create space, independent, whatever. Um, but it is like a very thin paper. So if you want to use pencils like that, I'd probably recommend printing off on a different paper. This one I have finished paging, but it's not in the book. Um, I got this one for a review. I just have it in my Happy Mail section because I love it. I don't think of it as a review book. I think of it as like a Happy Mail book. Um, I'll show you that because I did take the book, the page out of the book. I did two pages in here. So I just have it in my um, section to show you. I have a whip in Magic or Misfits number 10, Winter Fantasy. This one, I love this one. It has like nice kind of wintry goth, and I wouldn't say goth, but odd winter scenes in it. And I just have this one here going. I need to come back in and shade in with pencils. But I haven't done anything else so far yet in this one. I have done finished one picture here in Misfits Fairy Color Book number four. This one is probably one of my favorite Misfits books ever. They're super, super cute images. So I definitely would pull this one out and do more in here soon. And I did finish her. I used budget-friendly permit markers. Um, I used, they're from the dollar store, and then I used some stickles, um, a color gel pen for the black flowers, and then just, of course, a lot of splattering paint colors. And that is it from this book. From the Misfit Zombies, I have one finish and one whip in here. It's just as my finished page, which is Teacher's Pet. I used Cali Arts and Prismas and acrylic paints. I did do a chalkboard, how to do chalkboard and paint uh, books, um, coloring book uh, video if you wanted to see that on my channel. But this one's really cute, just kind of a whole bunch of misfit zombies. And I have a whip in here. 
this one here, um, patches. I had to come back in and shade her up and do this something in the background here. This one, another one of my favorites. I think this one is tied for my one of my favorites. And then from Misfits number one, I have only done half a page in here. I have a whip because I got intimidated by it because I really, really love how it turned out. So I haven't done it and come back into it yet because I love it. This one I did a tutorial on how to do blue skin. And then this is the one I have in the whip stage yet. I really like how it's turning out. It's just I have not come back because I love how it turned out. So I'm like, I'm kind of, I kind of psyched myself out in it. So I need to come back and finish that up and do some more in this book. I have two and a whip in Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. This is an amazing, amazing uh, grayscale book. And this one is what the first one I did in here. This, I usually always do her books in the grayscale or their books in the grayscale, just markers and some gel pens for the sparkles. And then this is my whip I've been doing in the dark fantasy section of the book. I just use the marker so far. Then I have colored him with just Cali Arts and then a whole bunch of um, color it gel pens for the sparkle. Sorry about that one to lower myself so I didn't keep banging the desk. But this one is an amazing, amazing book. Um, I would re highly recommend any of the Jade Summer um, Grayscale books. They're just absolutely gorgeous books the way they are. The grayscale is done in them. Next, I have a whip from the Garfield Unspiral Quotes Anti-Therapy Coloring Book um, for all ages. It's just like a whole bunch of amazing Garfield scenes. I love this one here and uh, that one. I started a Christmas one for Christmas in July. I just never finished it, which is this one here. I just kind of start straight coloring it. And I just, I'll probably come back in and finish it for the next month, but I love this book. Kind of just flip it out. I, I pull it out and flip through whenever you know you need like a little laugh or something like that. So that's why I like this one a lot. So I am a big fan of Garfield as well. So my second copy of A Million Cats by Ludo Mayo, we did a color along in and we did this page right here with a whole bunch of different pencils, um, Leisure Art Premier pencils, would not recommend those pencils, um, Dermot watercolors for the tablecloth and the wall, and then a whole bunch of just gel pens everywhere else for the picture, nice and sparkly. That's all I've done for that one so far. I have not done anything with the Color Me Stress Free, but I'm going to be doing some soon because this is on my list of pulling out next. Um, this is kind of like nice, kind of stress free free, um, kind of like mandala pictures, like repeating pattern pictures. I will pull some of this out soon and do it because I've been really, I just, I've seen this one on my shelf once I read it, I was like, I really need to pull this out because I love these images. They're so just relaxing, kind of repeating patterns, you know, that you can kind of just pull out your pens, your markers, whatever like that, and go to town on them. So I'll be pulling that out soon. I have a whip going in here of groovy mandalas by um, Shala Kerrigan. I did start this one here as well in the front, and we have this one. I'm gonna finish this one up on uh, yeah. I'm gonna finish this one up on camera um, next month. I want to finish that Fabian month before I come in here and do it. And this is just like I said, it's groovy looking '70s inspired mandalas. So I definitely will pick some of those up again soon because I love this book. It's one of my favorites. The Mandala Coloring Book by Dover, Dover Sparks. I haven't done anything here yet, but I will soon. It's like these are, I, I kind of got like, um, I kind of got like, I got a lot of happy ones. So I'm trying to like do them all and I like want to do these as well. So like these I just haven't got two yet, but these, I, I like this one as well. This one's going to be probably like a lot of fine liner work in here as well as gel pens. Fabulous flowers. Also a creative haven, but it has like nice colored lines. Beautiful Nature Designs this is one of my favorites by Ruth, Ruth Soffer. Kind of like nice animal scenes. Floral Frenzy. Kind of like a repeating uh, pattern of flowers. An old time Christmas, I have done a lot in here, but they're not in this book because I have put them in my binder. So I have not, I, I'll, I'll show them at the end of this video. 
dream birds i've also done a picture in here but it is in my binder so i have not i can't show it yet yeah i'll show it at the end we wickets by carla magana or Marjana, how you ever want to pronounce it my books just all collapsed <laughs> you can just they all just tumbled <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was going to happen at least once this video. I have finished up a picture in here. I love this book. It's right here. They're like, nice, creepy, art the clown in the wee wickets. I'm going to be definitely doing more in this book. I think I'm going to do... I just passed her. Where'd she go? Her next. The little witch. I'm going to do the witch and I'm going to do her next, I think. So I love this book. This is another one where I'm like... How in the world do I pick a picture from here? There's so many amazing pictures in there. And then the next one is Flowers and Gems by Gracie Salva. This one here, I'm gonna to try to be finishing up next year. I have done four in here and I did finish or start a fifth one, but um, I had to rip it out because the markers that I was using were not working with me. Um, and I'll talk about that more in my coloring update. So it is on my shelf. It's on like the shame shelf right now of not being finished. But I'm going to be doing this book in order. And these are all with just markers and some gel pen for sparkle. This book I usually pull out like right before I go to bed to do because like they're just nice, fast, easy pictures to do. And they come out beautifully with the markers. So the fifth picture would go here, but now we're on to the sixth picture. So this is now the fifth one. But I love this one. They're on very nice, thick paper. One side you can use whatever medium you want. And they're perforate so you can color them and frame them and give them as gifts. I will definitely be picking up a second copy of this book because I love it so so much and I want to redo some pictures and I'll definitely since I'm going to be finishing this book up next year or the course of the next year I need to have a second copy. So that is all the Happy Mail books. I'm going to take a quick break. You'll see it'll be the same video but I need to take a quick break, get a drink, and rest my voice for a few minutes. Okay, now for some miniature books before we get to the other ones. I have the Mini Pusheen coloring book. It's kind of a quick, fast one. I saved this one. I haven't done anything yet, but I saved this one just in case um, for like traveling or anything like that um, that I want to do. So I just kind of saved it so I can like, throw some gel pens in my bag and that. The Peace, Joy, and Color to Celebrate the Season with 20 Tear Out Postcards. Kind of just nice Christmassy postcards to color. And I have the Very Merry Coloring um, postcards as well. Okay, that's my mini books. I think I only have like three little mini books like that. Next, we have The Wizard of Oz by Fabiana Atanasio. I have uh, received this on Happy Mail, so I ha actually should put that with the Happy Mail, but it was with uh, my other Fabiana's because it's my color along this month. And I have done a few. I just did a flip through of this one on my channel, so I'm not going to do a full flip of it. I have this one here that is in the whip stage. I'm coloring on camera. And then... I've done him as well off camera. Uh, that's one of the first pictures I did in this book. So that's all I have in this one here. I'm going to leave this aside so I can put them with my color longs as well. The Adventures of Pinocchio. I have done a few. I have a flip through of this as well, so I'm not going to do anything besides show you the pictures that I've colored. I have done this one here with gel pens and some acrylic paint in the background. I have done both of these with gel pens and acrylic paint and some pencil in the background for the circles and the lines. This was also a Happy Mail book, so I should have put it with the other ones, but like I said, I'm keeping all of my Fabianas in the same picture for the same, like, month. Same group, I should say. Next, we have... If I can get to it, it will open. There we go. This page we're doing here on camera with some sparkly gel pens. And I think that is it that I have done. Yes, that's it. I sworn I did more, but I... Couldn't find it. So, Alice in Wonderland, I have done a few in here. Um, I have just finished out my car along with this as well. And they're all towards the front. Just finished up this one for my color along this month. We used Crayola markers and then some Cali Art markers because it's just a key in the background, so I really didn't mind it being ruined. 
or ruined. Uh, whip for the keys here. I have my white rabbit. I was going to do this book from start to finish, so I have this one here. This full double page spread I use with um, leisure art pencils, I think some Crayola pencils. They just have the little doodle things uh, in the coloring book, in the storybook version of it. And then the pies, or the cakes and stuff like that from the other uh, book. Peter Pan is the only one I do not have a full flip through of on my channel, I think, so I will flip through and show you some of the pictures. I have this one in whip form. I just haven't came back to it yet. I actually forgot about it. Um, I knew I had a whip in here, but I just forgot which one actually was. Then, let's see. Did Tinkerbell, but this is with the platinum colored pencils. The budget, a budget friendly pencil brand. Um, I think you, if you can still get them on Amazon, it was like $13 for 72 pencils. They're semi soft core pencils. They, they work good. They break a lot. That's the only downside to them. I did a Nana here with Prismas. And that is it from Peter Pan. December's color along will be the Inspired Room. And I did a few in here. This is an like, interior design coloring book. I think I've only done one here, actually. I said a few, but I've only done one. I have a whole bunch marked to do, but I think I've only completed one, which is this page right here. This is done with Prismas as well. Right after I got my Prismas, I did this one 12, 22, 17. That was right, I think, I think that was like two or three days after I got my, uh, my Prisma set, my 132 set of Prismas. Next, my Johanna Bassfords. Um, I have multiple copies of Magical Jungle. I only have three here. I do have four copies, but one copy of Magical Jungle I have not colored from yet. So we have um, Magical Jungle, or Johanna's Christmas, I mean. We have this one that I start as a whip, and I wasn't happy with the marker on the top, so I stopped, and this is the first page I ever did with my Prismas. And, um... I didn't like how they worked on this paper. I was like, oh my god, I bought uh, these pencils. I got these pencils as a gift. And like, I don't like the uh, them on this paper. I don't like them at all. And like, after I started working with them, I was like, now I love them. So that was the first ever tie of to it. I did this one here with platinum colored pencils and then leisure art duo tip markers for the border. This was during the first ever color, uh, coloring Christmas in July. This was, I think, Shalene's picture. And then... I do not have, I finished the sleigh picture that was, I think, reading with pugs on a picture, um, but I took it out of the book because the binding was coming undone, like, this, these are perforate pictures, and I don't know where it went, and as well as the nutcrackers as well. And then this page I did as well for the book. This is with um, some Sharpies, the pink is a Sharpie, and the rest is um, Leisure Arts and the Leisure Art Duo Tip Markers. And I think, yeah, I just did the... Um, front picture as well. This is my copy of Magical Jungle that I have done the most in. It is, like I said, my favorite copy, my favorite book. I think World of Flowers has kind of toppled it a little bit, but I think this will be my original favorite, I guess you could say. So let's see, I've done a lot in here. Let's see. Yep. I've done this um, houseboat thing here. I really like how the background turned out, even though it killed a few of my pink pencils. Did the sugar skull here. This one was like a struggle for with me because I was trying to keep all of the leaves neutrally green to put all the colors into the sugar skull itself. And let me tell you, that was hard to do because I like to do like colorful leaves and that was a very, very hard challenge onto myself. I did this heart here. I think this was a Valentine's color long for Shalene's channel, I think. Um, uh, the coloring book nook. Did my toucan here with some sparkly gel pens around the border and then some prismas. This one here I did with my prismas. I just straight colored it. I kind of want to do like a denim design here in the butterfly wings. My goal is to do the butterfly like different colors in every single book. So like then other books I have, it will not be no pinks or blues in the butterflies or anything like that. So 
that I did this one here. This one I was like really, really proud of. That's why I really start to like blend with my prismas up here. Like, see me as you can see. I highlight like, this is like the first one that I really start to blend with my prismas. And I really am happy with how this one turned out. It's one of my favorites in this book. I think this this page here is what made me fall in love with the book. And then the lovebirds over here. Then I think that is it for this copy. From this copy of Magical Jungle, I have done just the front of it, I think, yeah. Done just this here, this is with the Fila pencils and gel pens. And the Fila's and gel pens. And I think that is, oh, I did start this one here. I just haven't finished it yet. This is with Fila pencils. This Magical Jungle, is what I'm going to start from, do from start to finish. This is with, I think, Prismas and some gel pen. This is just what I want to, I want to do from like beginning to end. This page here was a hot, hot, hot mess. So this is just a, a space picture. This is the jungle at nighttime. And my anthropomorphic blob, Fred. And it, that's it. I just done those there. And from Lost Ocean, I have a few done. I've done the front page here with the gel pens. This is with the Scribbler Stuff gel pens, and I think some scented gel pens. My book is falling apart on this one. Uh, I did this one here with a lot of gel pens, sparklies. This one we did on camera. And that is it that I have finished in this book. I just have one whip in here. This one here I test out my fine liners with. You probably can't really see on camera. I tested out the shuttle art uh, fine liners. I do have a video on that on my channel. I haven't done anything else in here yet. I need to come back to this book. It's just it's super, super tiny. And I don't really like super, super tiny all the time. I think the Inky Butterfly. Um, I'm going to get a second copy of this one because I don't like how I color Ivy in it. Um, I did her all the same and I want to do it different, her differently. Kind of use this kind of design here color scheme here and I want to do it differently so I'm going to pick up a second copy of this book. So I've only done Ivy throughout and then I started doing this divine here and then I have done the front page here this is with um I think this is with the platinum pencils the budget friendly platinums I did the title page and this one here I did with prismas one of my first I did with Prisons as well. Then I do have the Secret Garden Artist Edition. I was lucky enough to find this at Ollie's. I did finish one. This one I just kind of use as my tester because I have a second copy of this as well. Where is the one I finished? There it is. I finished this one right here with Prismas and I think some gel pens as well. This is another one where the pages are super, super, super tiny in here. They're just selected pages from um, Secret Garden, so just on really nice um, paper. Now, Alice's Wonderful, uh, Wonderful Adventures, a curious comic book for adults. I have not finished pictured. I have not colored anything in here yet. I want to. I just have not done it yet. This is a single side, nice and pages is like slightly better than copy paper but I really like it I like how the artist did let's see if I find them I like how the artist did the Mad Hatter in this book I really like how he turns out so I'm gonna think I'm gonna color him probably color on pull him out frame because I think are they no they're not perforated but they're easy to exacto knife out I think I'm gonna color this one here and this one here as well so I haven't colored anything yet, but if you're interested in this book, it is Alice's Wonder-Filled Adventures by Abigail Larson. I found this on Ollie's for $2. So if you have an Ollie's eye with you, definitely double check to see if you have this one. It's always at the bottom of the pile is the way it sounds. So you have to double, double like look in through there. Fairy World, I loved this book, but then I, I started doing one picture and got discouraged because I did not like how it turned out. So I did not have not picked it back up yet. This is on pretty thick paper so you can use pretty much a lot of mediums on here that you want. But I did start when I just didn't like how it was coming out so I did stop coloring it and that was this one right here. Just had to come back to it and finish it up but I didn't like how it was turning out. I didn't like the color I chose for her and this is the first time using the Bic Metallics which are 
They're very milky of a marker, where they're not like a normal permanent marker, and they don't show through, which is nice. So you can use them at double pages, but they're very different, so I didn't like how it was coming out, so I was kind of like got discouraged and just stopped coloring it. And I need to come back into this book soon. And I do... No, do I? No, I don't have another co copy. I have two copies of Alice, the Wonderful coloring book. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, featuring the classic illustrations by Sir John Tenniel. This is... um. It has the images of the rare story, and then it has um, kind of like the story quotes through it. Um, and it just has like a lot of wallpaper pictures throughout here. But it is a really, really nice picture. A nice book if you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, because you can color the original images. So I'm just going to do a quick fast flip through here. I haven't colored anything in here yet, but I do hope to do that soon. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to slam that. Beauty and the Beast, I have a whip in here. This is another one with the original quotations. Has a lot of wallpaper pictures, but the pictures of Belle and the Beast in this book are absolutely stunning. So I did test out, like, blending with Prismas with um, rubbing alcohol. The reason I, I like how it turned out, the reason I didn't continue with it, because I didn't like how I didn't blend everything together very well. Like you can kind of see like harsh lines, so I just didn't continue on with it. So this is another one that has like a lot of wallpaper images, but it also has like very nice images of Belle and the Beast and all that kind of stuff, so definitely like that one. Definitely need to work in these books more. Little Mermaid, I have not done any. This is the one the original story about Hans Christian Anderson. I haven't done anything here yet as well, but beautiful, beautiful images throughout this whole book here. So I definitely need to do some in here. It's just have not had the I haven't had like the mood to do it yet, if that makes any sense. I give you like a nice little mini flip. That one is gonna be a nice one to finish because like a nice Folds up nicely, nice kind of gel pen work for the frame of it. Okay, that's that pile. Now let's move on to my, this pile. That made a lot of sense there, this is my pile. So I have a coloring by numbers book. I haven't done anything in here, I have a whip yet, that's about it, which is this one here. I don't think I can really show you them because they don't really pick up on camera, but this is a color by numbers. Jade Star Anime, I do have a whip in here. I do have finished pages, but um, I don't have them because they're in my coloring binder, which I'll show at the end of this video. So this is really nice. You have double pages. One has a nose. One has a more Japanese-style anime nose. Trying to stack these where they don't fall. Victorian Darlings by Hannah Lynn. Um, I love this book. It's one of my favorite Hannah Lynn's, and I definitely, definitely have been doing a lot of pictures in here. I think everyone's seen this book, so I'm not going to do it too huge of a flip, but I have done, I think, three pictures in here. I did this one here, just recently, with Cali Arts and um, Fila pencils on top. This is just Cali Arts and some gel pens. And then this page here. I try to see if I can copy this right here, and I think I got pretty good with Prismas for highlights of some gel pens for sparkles. Vampires Volume 1 and 2 by Jade Summer. I have not done anything in here yet, so can't really show you that too much. And I think everyone knows what the Jade Summer Vampires look like. Jade Summer Vampires, once again, I have all my pictures cut out of these, so can't show you them until the end of the video. You're going to see a lot of these just going really quick flip throughs because I have a lot of them ripped out already. Cut out, I should say. I think I only have one whip in here, which is this one here which I was using water-based markers, and it looks like it washed a lot of the grayscale effect off, so I just do not have that in there. And then I have this one in whip form yet that I was using Sharpies on and big markers for, and this one I was using pencils with, and while I love how it turned out, I would not recommend using pencils for uh, this as a grayscale because I always like trying to like, 
it's just grind the pencil into the paper to get it to even come out looking good. Chibi Girls Grayscale, another one that I have a lot finished, or going in, this is a whip that I need to finish up. A lot of these are in my finished um, book, so you'll have to see them at the end of the video. But I'm almost finished with that book. Jade Star Stuffed Animals, another one where everything is cut out already. Chibi Girls Horror, another one where everything's pretty much cut out already. So I'm just going to kind of quickly just kind of flip through. I think everyone knows what these look like. I did do this one. I need to come back and finish up. And this one I need to finish up as well. I think everyone pretty much knows what the Jade Summer ones look like. So, so I don't have like any of the obscure ones. I have more of the well-known Jade Summer ones. Kawaii Girls. This is the whip that I have. I was using Leisure pencils and some Sharpies for the background. The 50 Fan Favorites book by Jade Summer. This is just 50 fan favorites. It's the covers of the fan favorite books. It's not really fan favorite pictures from the books. It's the favorite favorite books, just the covers of the books in there. Um, so yeah. Just have that one as a whip that I need to finish up from the Easter coloring book. Uh, when, uh, Witches and Whimsy, um, Art Therapy coloring book by, oh, my voice just went out. <laughs> I'm here getting over a little bit of cold or some seasonal allergies, so my voice may go out while filming this. Which is in Whimsy. I think I only have a whip in here. I really need to finish up. I think I have two whips here, actually. I need to finish up this book. Some of these pages, because I love these books. Then I have The Witch's Familiar, which I model after my cat here. Uh, Night Terrors. I ripped out a lot of pictures in here already. I just have one whip. Which is this one here. Which is very conveniently named Menstrual Pain. So I did it all in the background in red. Let's see. Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee. I have one finished and some whips. This is, oh, this is Dreamlings 2 by Edwina McNamee. I have. Where'd it go? Where did it go? There we go. I had the pumpkin started as a whip. This is Prisma and some sparkly gel pens. Then I have just the title page here. This is like where you sign your name, but I want to turn it into like a regular picture. This is all just done with Prismas and then a Sharpie paint pen to do the dots. Nice little town of Christmas. I have nothing done in here, but I'll be getting some done soon with the Christmas season coming. I like it. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. I like it. It's just not my favorite, so I haven't done any, like, reached for it. I got it was on sale, and I just haven't reached for it. This one, I have all the books um, picked out already. The pages ripped out and put into my binder, so I think everyone knows what this one looks like. I have a whip here. Which is just Creole Super Tips and Prisma for the Skin. I wasn't happy with how square her nose looked um, in person, so I haven't picked it up. And I have her as a whip as well. I need to come back and do this with Arteza's. And then finally, this book here, I have pretty much all of them cut out as well. And that's the Jasmine Beck Griffith Coloring Book number one. See if I have. I think I have a whip in here. That's about it. Never here. It's kind of falling out because I started cutting and I cut the cloth bound. Um, but I did this one, the skin tone on camera. If you're interested on that, is on my channel. Just search how I color purple skin. I think that's what it's called. And I have this one as well as a whip. The sun and moon child. I have. I did the skins, never touched it again afterwards. 
yep, that's it for this one. You'll see the finished pages at the end, like I said. Let's see, we're going to go through the stack, and then I'm going to take a short break to rest my voice. Uh, a Crayola Art with Ed Sugar Skulls. I only have one whip in here. I got this one for October for the color long. I just have this one as a whip. It's Kylie Art Markers. Art with Crayola Art with Ed Nickelodeon 90s. I was doing this one, and I haven't came back to it. Um, I don't know why. I was doing the Sharpies and our water base markers. haven't came back to it yet. Um, I think I have a full flip through of this on my channel, but it's just different screenshots like that from different 90s coloring, or different 90s shows for you to color. But yeah, I think I have a full flip through of this on my channel already. If you're interested, just type the name in. Cat Lover uh, Coloring Book, The Cat Lover's Creative Soul. I have not colored anything in this, unfortunately, because it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. Um, I do have a full flip through on this on my channel as well, so if you're interested in that, this one's the one I want to do. So hopefully I'll get to doing that soon. Second copy. The Dog Lover's Creative Soul. Haven't done anything in here as well. I'm not really a dog person. I like dogs. I love every single animal, but I am a cat person, so haven't colored this. I just got to complete the collection. Christmas Cats, Calling Christmas Cats. This is by Topics Media. This came out in December uh, 2006. This is like one like doesn't like the magazine section. I have this one as a whip that I have started. I did this one here, Meow Christmas in Sharpies. And this is not on the best paper. It's kind of like on your traditional kind of like kids coloring book paper, like the Disney like princess ones, like that you'd get for like kids in the coloring book section. It's not very good paper, but still cute pictures nonetheless for like some gel pens, some marker works. Then I just did the first page here, um, which I modeled all the cats after cats had growing up. I had three gray cats, I had two tabbies and Persian growing up. Then in my new black and white cat that I just got um, pretty much right at the same time, like about two months before I got this coloring book. Southern Living Christmas at Home. I have not done anything in here. This is just a whole bunch of Christmas stuff and there's also recipes in here for different stuff. I picked this one up at Ollie's for um, two bucks. I figured, good Christmas book, never colored in it. That's a lot of stuff that you see in my books. I pick them up at Ollie's and then just forget them on my shelf. It's Creative Haven Spring Scenes. I need to actually pull this page out so this page is out so I can um, put them in my binder. I forgot all about them. I have this one as a whip. I just didn't like how the I did the water over here in this corner. Like I liked how I just did it over here. I didn't like how I did it behind the flowers. This one I did as spring. I uh, speed coloring for the first day of spring. Which some this is with Prisma and then a whole bunch of glittery gel pens. This one I did, this was my, my first color along, I believe. I think this is the very first color along I ever did. I know I did a color in chats before, but I think that this was my first official color along ever, so I have to save that picture. I think that's it from this book. Yeah, that's it from this book. This one I just picked up recently, it's um, Color America by Donna Moses. This is super, super cute images. They're single-sided. It has little passages and stuff like that on here. The pictures are ridiculously cute pictures. Let's see, you can kind of, there you go. They're kind of small images. Definitely will be picking this book up soon because I keep eyeing it up on my shelf. Christmas Adult Coloring. This is just like a whole bunch of like busy Christmas designs. I haven't picked anything up, but I do plan on that is just freaking adorable. So I do plan on getting some done this Christmas season. Then the other Christmas adult coloring. Figure I'm just gonna probably do a lot of these with gel pens. Because they are very busy patterns. But they're only 99 cents at Ollie's, so I figure why not pick them up for 99 cents? Zen Doodle Coloring Murkies in Love. I have not done anything in here. I think. Do I have a whip in here? Yes, I have a whip in here. 
we started as color gel pens and then I I started this one as an all my color gel pen series and I just did not feel like I kind of started loved it and then I didn't like it and I feel like doing it again so I never picked it back up but I do have a full flip through of this on my channel as well as magical Mercedes. I did start picture in here. I did finish one. Actually, I did. I actually did finish one. This is for the Sugar Skulls. It's all sparkly gel pens or gel pens. Um, I did do another picture in here, but I did rip it out because I didn't like how I was doing it, and I was doing it in a time where my anxiety and depression was really acting up one night. So I pulled this out and just started coloring, and I didn't like how the picture reminded me of that in the morning when the mood was done. So I just ripped it out and threw it away. So we take a short break and we're going to attack the final pile as well as my um, finished pages folder. Okay, this is one from my kids' uh, books I picked up at Ollie's. It's Disney Princess Time to Sparkle. I haven't done anything in here. I do have plans to do this page here for Zoe Archer's Color Along this month. But I haven't done anything in here. There's a whole bunch of just different Disney scenes. I did start this one, but I didn't like how it was coming along, so I did stop it. Just a whole bunch of nice Disney scenes throughout for different, like, I think it has, um, Cinderella, um, Beauty and Beast, Little Mermaid, Rapunzel, um, just a whole bunch of different ones in there. Starting to run out of room on my floor. I have Barbie, I just picked this one up, it was 70 cents at Ollie's. It's done some in here with Trail Super Tips. This is kind of like an, just like an anti-stress book where I just pick it out and just do some marker work in here with my uh, my water-based markers. If I can find them. I got this one with um, gel pen and um, uh, super tips, Crayola super tips. I did this one with Crayola Super Tips as well as some gel pen for the purse. And I think I did, I could have sworn I did another one here. Did I only do two? Must have only done two. And just I planned on doing a third and didn't do it. Yeah, I did two. So I was going to do another one and I never did. From one, two, three, color me. I did a few in here, and I have a whip. I did this one with sharpies. Did this one here with sharpies as well. This one as well with sharpies. This one here I did with Crayola Super Tips. And then I think I just have this whip in here. And I start with Sharpies, so never finished. Now I have him in as well with um, Crayola Super Tips. I think that is it. I got this book at Ollie's, I think, for a few bucks. $3. Really nice book to pull out when you just kind of have like your anxieties going up. You just pull it out, do some pick some colors out, and that's it. Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra Rianada. I done I did her with the Prisma colors. I do not like color peacocks, and I figured that out in this picture. Um, let's see. I did this picture here for my recent color along in here, which was Prismas, watercolors, and a whole bunch of sparkly gel pens. I did this angel. 12, 18, 17, so that was right at, like, this was like a day after I got my Prismas. So this is one of the first ever pictures I did with my Prismas. I have her started, I just never finished her up. I love how she came out, I got intimidated once again by finishing it perfectly. So I started it really nicely, I loved how it was coming out, so I was like, I have to finish her perfectly, and I just got in the head. So she sits unfinished. The Reaper picture here I did with Prismas, one of the first pictures I cut with my Prismas as well. Really happy with how he came out. And I think I'll have one more here. I 
did her. This is like one of the one embellished I do ornaments, but I didn't feel like doing it, so I just did the dress in different colors. I like how that one turned out. And that is, yep, yeah, that's it from this book. Quilts, Barns, and Buggies, Amish Quilts and Proverbs. I love this book. Haven't done anything in it yet. It's a shame because I really love how it turned out, but I haven't done anything in this yet. I think I do have a full flip through this on my channel if you're interested. The Cassandra Clare Mortal Instruments Coloring Book. I have done one in here and I have a whip and then like how it came out. This is Simon. I, I did him with Prismas. I really like how he turned out. And then I started Clary in here and I didn't like how I did her hair. Her hair came out way too much yellow into it so I just never picked it back up. There's really nice images from the series from like books one through six. Bold Springtime to Color by Alir Fowler. I did one picture in here to test out gel pens and they do bleed through this paper. And I do have a uh, full flip through, I think, of this on my channel as well. So I did this with gel pens and they do ghost through heavily. So as long as you don't like the picture on the other side, it doesn't really matter. So and with pencil, you can cover it up. Cats by Mademoiselle's My Life, uh, My Colorful Mindfulness. I haven't done anything in here yet, but I will be doing something in here soon because I love this book. This is another one where I'm like, I love this book. Now I'm intimidated by this book because I love it. I don't want to mess it up. I love this. It's a double, no, it's not a double pager, but I love this one. Wait, it is. It is a double pager. You could color it as a double pager. It's not technically a double pager, but you could color it as a double pager if you want to. I think I'd color it separately because I'd be a lot of kittens for one cat. I'd feel sorry for that cat. So I'd color it separate pages. But I love this book. It's really just really cute cats. This one I am ashamed that I haven't colored in yet because I love it. But I am very, very intimidated by this book. I love it. Huge intimidation by it. That's Mysterious Plants by Icono. I love this book. And I am intimidated by this book so badly because I love it and there's like this complex in my head like I can't color in this book because I'm gonna mess it up so I don't color in it and I just stare at it and it's like hey, you want to color from this book but you're gonna mess it up if you color it which is a bad way to get into my head with it but I want to color it I will do it soon I'm gonna push myself to do this page in that soon uh, A Beastiary of Tolkien by um this coloring book by uh Maureen Marza Marmoro Marza and Andrea Piper. This is just different beasts and like different villains in the um, Tolkien world. Have this one started. I didn't like the pencil, so I just never finished it up. But I definitely will be getting some more done here. I think the one I'm going to do is either these evil phantoms or him, which is just Wizard Ishtar. Or where is he? Where's the creepy golem? Where's Creepy Schmeel? There. Creepy Schmeagel. Just, he looks so incredibly creepy in this book. So I have to do him. Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. I have a whole bunch started and a few finished pages in here. This one here I did for Gel Pen Jamboree that was hosted by Zoe Archer. It's a whole bunch of nice sparkly gel pens. I have my pumpkin started. This one I have started. I just never came back and finished. Start page, start page, finish page. I did my blue spire with a whole bunch of gel pens. That's Prismas and I just like some budget friendly gel pens. Start page, start page, finish page. I did, this is the first one I did from the page. He had a steampunk cat from this book. I really like how he turned out. Start page, start page. <laughs> And I did the double side pages here. In Morphia, I have some whips. I don't like this book. I can easy, easily say I didn't like this book from the Morphia series. It's just not my favorite. There's a whole bunch of you need to finish this by yourself type of books, you know, and then it's like this one here, like draw more bees. Or 
complete the, I don't have the pot of orcas. I don't like to do that kind of stuff. Like, but I fill the crocodiles in. There's a lot I like to fill your jar room and stuff in here. And I don't like that. So it has some whips. And that's about it in this book. I have the koi fish started. Here's it from this book start. I don't like Anamorphia. You can easily say you don't like Anamorphia. Magimorphia, I do love. I have some finished start and finished pages in here. This one I think was my second uh, Kirby book after Mythomorphia. I have this one started. This is with, I think, Prisma pencils. They look like Prismas. This one here I'm really, really proud of here. I did this one with the Leisure Art pencils. And I love how he turned out. Did that one six fifteen seventeen. This one here I did with the Leisure Art Duo Tip Markers. They were my first markers that I ever used. And I do like how this one turned out. I think I have some more finished here. I'm not sure. I'm just doing a fast flip while I do this because I know like everyone's seen the Kirby books before. So that's it from the current this one. I need to do more Anamorphia or Magimorphia. This one here is my first copy of Mythomorphia. Done a lot in here as well. Kind of started getting him start with some super tips. Started him and her up with some super, ti uh, super tips. Him and I started with some super tips. The Sphinx here, I did this page. It took me like two, two and a half weeks. I did this with Leisure Arts and Crayolas. Long time. It was my first picture. I was like, I can. I, this is the first picture I could ever say I was super proud of myself for coloring. This one here I did with the Sivo Vivid pencils. I didn't like the pencils, but I did like how the page turned out. This one here I have started. I have not finished, but I'll probably finish it in my other copy of Metamorphia. Sandman, Leisure Art pencils, some highlighters for the background. The elephant thing here, leisure art pencils again. I started this one up for Shaleen's color along, never finish them. I will finish them up in our Starman, finish them up in the other book, our copy. And I did start just the this book belongs to page. This is my for real version of Mythomorphia where I take my time and like I want to make works of art from this book basically. Did my wraith here with my prismas and some watercolors and some gel pens. Then the fire dragon in all reds. Well, some grays, but all reds. I have done my werewolf page. And I'm extremely proud of how he turned out. This is with Prisma, um, Dermot watercolor pencils, some acrylic paint, a little bit of sparkly stuff on the moon. I don't know how we'll be able to see it on camera. And then some gel bends for all the birds and bats. Sandman again, and Prismas, and some acrylic metallic paints. This is the first one I did here, and this is another one that I'm like super, 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 super proud of. This is the Manticore, I believe he's called. This is the Prismas, some acrylic paints. This is my first time doing acrylic paints, the kind of like the splatter effect. I love how he turned out. Probably one of the ones I'm like, most proud of from this book. Then I have stars the P uh, the Pegasus is here and I've used my Arteza pencils, but I'll probably finish this up with Crayol or with my Prismas. And that's it from this book. I want to do more on this one. Eventually I would like to finish that book up, but I do not want to jinx myself and say that. And now we start my Romantic Countries. Romantic Country, the third tale. I have some whips and a finished page, I believe, in here. I have this one here start as a whip. I just really learned I do not like calling foods. I haven't picked it up yet and finished it up. 
have this house here. I love how this house turned out. It's one of the ones I'm like super, super proud of because when you tilt it, you can't see like the lines of the pencil on the page. So I was really proud of how that one came out. And I think that is all I have done in this book. Besides another whip. I just had the clothes here that I start never finished doing. That's the third tale. Second tale, this is, I have two copies of. I did this page here with the nice sparkly moon. This is done with Artezas and some um, budget friendly glitter paints. And then I have one more finished in here. I did this page here with my Arteza color pencils and a little bit of stickles, but you can't see the stickles, unfortunately. And that's it for this copy. The second tale, copy two. I've done a few pictures in here. I have this Easter page as a whip. I started it and then I flicked all the fabric eggs like, I'm not doing this anymore. And just kind of like, nope, I'm done. I finished, I was coloring this one, I was going to do this one because um, Coloring F was doing this page for Easter. I was like, I'm going to do that. And then I was like, I started coloring, I was like, no, I'm just going to finish watching her videos. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to do those eggs. I'm just going to finish watching the videos. Then let's see, I did some in the front. That's it from this one. Yeah. I started this door. I just wanted to color the door, so I just that's all I did in this page. And then... I did these two front pages. I really like how this one turned out. This one did turn out a little darker than I wanted it to be, but I do like how it turned out, but I love this one. This is one of my favorite ones I've done from the Romantic Country book. And that is it from the Romantic Country 2. Which copy of Romantic Country is this? My pencil, I'll say that for a second when I do the marker one. This book here, I am working on with markers. I'm just working from the front of the book to the back of the book. And I have done this front page here. I tried to make a snowy scene out of it. I love how that one turned out. It's with um, Crayola Super Tips. And I think this one here is a Sergeant Art Super Tip. Done this night scene here with the Crayola Brush Tips and some acrylic paint. This is Crayola Super Tips. This is Crayola Super Tips, Brush Tips. And I think that's it. This is done with Crayola Super Tips as well. Then I'm gonna do this one next. I'm kinda of starting from front to back. I need to get back to doing this one soon. And then I did this one for Halloween with the Cali Art markers. Um, I didn't like the page on the other side. It's this Fabergé egg page, so I just blacked it out and went to cut this with the um, Cali Art markers. So I need to come back to doing this book soon because I want to, I would love to finish this from front to back with markers. And we're into country the first tale. This is my pencil edition, I guess you could say. I've done a lot in this book. I've done this whole page here with super tips. I did a video on this a long, long, long time ago. Pretty much when my channel first started, I did that. Just I love this page of the rainbow castle with um, some gel pens, sparkly gel pens. This one here I did with Prisma colors and of course some sparkly gel pens. I started doing, I did this page over here for the chapter 5, I just never did this page over here. This is with Prismas and some acrylic paint. I think this is actually like a budget friendly yellow paint and I colored over it with the acrylic paints over it. Afterwards. Kind of smooth the color out. This is the other side to the, um, the Scarecrow Pumpkin. I just probably will never color that, so I just blacked it out in the other one because I wanted to use my Mark Cali Arts. This one here, I use Prismas. I pretty much use Prismas all this book, so I should not keep repeating myself with that. This one, I use a, a Kid Psylocke chocolate background, some Prismas, and some gel pens. Tried to make a morning sky, made a mess of it. I need to come back and fix it up. This one, I'm really proud of how it came out. I used my Prismas and then my sparkly gel pens. This is when I started and never came uh, finished with it. This is with um, Derwent 
um, watercolor pencils. I was going to finish it up. I just started this one a couple days ago. I went to the water and after I did the water, I was like, I'm done. So I'm not coming back to that for a while, probably. This one took me a while to finish up. This is Prismas, gel pens, and super tips. I did a tutorial on the night sky for this one. I believe it's this one I did the night sky tutorial on. Just pinked this whole background out here. I did this one with Prismas and some gel pen work. Really love how this one turned out as well. And this one, I started this page here. Absolutely love how this turned out. Once again, got intimidated. It's like, I can't do the rest. I'm going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it, but that's kind of what my thought process was when I did this. So I have to come back and finish this up. So that was all of my books. Now I'm going to show you the finished pages in my binder. So... I have started a finished pages binder, and it's just look at what it says, a finished page binder. So this is from Chibi Girls Volume 1. This is with um, Leisure Arts and Leisure Art Duo Tip Markers. Chibi Girls is with Platinum Color Pencils, or yeah, Platinum Color Pencils. This is with Platinum Color Pencils as well. This page here is with Leisure Art Duo Tip Markers, and that's it for the whole page. Platinum Color Pencils again. Chibi Girls Grayscale, this is all done with Sharpies, Cali Arts, and Vic Marking Markers. This is with Sharpies and Vicks. This is done with Sharpies. This is done with Sharpies. Bix, and then a whole bunch of glitter glues. Sharpies and Bix. Sharpies, Bix, um, glittery paint, and some white gel pen. Sharpies and Bix. Uh, Cali Art markers and Touch New Skin markers. Cali Arts and Touch New Skin Tone markers. Bix and Sharpies. I actually have a video on this one if you are interested. Chibi Girls Horror. This is done with Prismas. This is one of the first ones I did with my Prismas on, on this. I wanted to test it out on Create Space Paper. Also done with my Prismas. This one I just did with my Cali Art markers if you're interested in watching that. Jade Summer Kawaii Girls. This is done with Leisure Art Pencils. This one is done with Crayola Pencils and some Sharpie for the background. I'm really proud of how this one turned out. This is one of the first ones I can say I was really, really proud as well, uh, as well of. This is done with a Sharpie background and Crayola Pencils as well. This one was done with Platinum Color Pencils. Sharpies, or Sharpies and Crayolas. Jade Summer 50 Fan Favorites. This is done with the Arteza pencils and some acrylic paint and some stickles. I don't know what I'm trying to show. It's just shining and reflecting. It doesn't pick up a camera anyways. Um, this one I did with Sharpies uh, and Bix. Or no, I think this was just Sharpies. And I did this one for Zoe Archer's um, Fairies in August, I believe it was. Was it April or August? I think it was Fairies in August. That sounds more familiar. This one I just tested out some watercolors and shaded it with pencils. And I just did the background black with a white paint and pencil over it. Vampires Volume 1, Jade Summer. Leisure Art Pencils and a Sharpie background. I'm just kind of, it's kind of going fast because I just can't say like what pencils and that was it. You can see the picture. This was done with the Platinum Court Pencils, I believe. And I did recreate this picture. You'll be seeing that in a very, very quick second. Volume 2. None done. <laughs> the Vampires Grayscale. There you go. That is what I did with markers and pencils, so you can kind of see the effect. And I also did this one with Fila pencils. Would not recommend using pencils on Create Space Grayscale. Use your markers, unless you're very skilled at Grayscale. This is the only one I ever did from Everyday Horror. Don't really like that color in Book by Jade Summer. Stuffed Animals. This one I did with Sharpies and Bix. This one I use the Crayola brush tips and some glitter glues. You can see that I have videos on that as well. This one is with Crayola brush tip markers. 
the anime coloring book. This one I'm really, really proud of. This is with um, Cali Art markers, and I shade it in with Fila's. And of course some stickles, but you can't see stickles on camera, so I pull it all out and show you. This one I did with Cali Art markers and Fila's, and then acrylic paint background, um, and then some stickles for her bow and stuff like that, her ribbons, stuff like that. Just some extras. From Beautiful Horror by Gerard Tensel, I've done him. This is the first picture I did in that book. I love how this one is, was illustrated, so I had to do that one. And I just did this one the other day. Not the other day, I did this one last month. This is with Cali Arts, Fila's, Derwent watercolor pencils, and some gel pens. The Ring Claire Night Terrors and Witches of Whimsy. I did uh, mostly from Night Terrors. This one here is one of my very first color and chats as well. You can see that on my channel. This one I wasn't proud of how the hair turned out. I wish I could do it better. Luckily I have a second copy. And then my zombies is with leisure arts and then some kids finger paint for the background. An old time, an old fashioned Christmas. The one I showed you that's all worked out. All with Sharpies and Vic marking markers. And some stickles. From Dream Birds by Maria Adayo. I did this one here for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but I'll use all pink markers and gel pens. Jasmine Becca Griffith Coloring Book. I did this one with Crayola Super Tips and Prisma Pencils and some gel pen, sparkly black gel pens. This one I used primarily Cali Art markers to blend and shade and the Touch News blend the shade as well as some Prisma and some acrylic paint. This is with Prismas and Crayola Super Tips and some sparkling gel pens. Crayola Super Tips only, some gel pens as well, as well as little pencils to shade in the nose. This one here I used Crayola, or not Crayola, Prismas, Crayola Super Tips, and sparkly gel pens. I would pull all of these out, but there's too much work to pull them in and out. I don't want them to accidentally damage the page. This one here is my very first ever color and chat. I don't know why I'm hitting the page. <laughs> this is my first ever color and chat I've done on my channel. And of course I had to do it with the Wizard of Oz. And I love how the green skin turned out. This one I did with Prismas um, and some Super Tips. And then I acrylic paint to sharp uh, the to the background. This is here is with I think this is all just Prisma pencils, and this is um, Super Tips with the Prismas on top of it. From Mermaid's Fairies and Other Girls of Whimsy, I've done a lot. I've done this little witch here with Artezas and some acrylic paint, and then like acrylic uh, metallic paint for the moon. Whenever I see a mermaid, I have to automatically turn her into Ariel for some reason, so that's what I did with her. So this is Ariel and her sea monkeys. This is the first picture I did with the book. Um, I really love how this one turned out. What's on the... No, it's just the way it looks like a little line. It looks I want the, the page protector. This one is the first one I ever did with my Cali Art markers when they were sent to me in Happy Mail. And I love how she turned out with that. And then I have some sparkly paints on the background fireworks. And then finally, this one here I did with all Artie's pencils. And that is it. We are finished. So that was every single one of my coloring books and every single one of my finished pages. Sorry if I not super, super talkative a lot of stuff or didn't show a whole bunch of stuff or like talk about every single page. I want to do it in one video and my voice is still kind of a little sore um, or my throat is still kind of a little sore. So uh, if you want to see a flip through of any of the books, just let me know in the comments below. I'll write them down. So I'll do a flip through and get them up on my channel. Um, I am going to have to go put all of this back on my shelves after I just organized everything. <laughs> um, if you just watched my updated, updated um, color book shelf tour, I think I'm going to have to do an updated, updated, updated color book shelf tour because I have to put these all back on the shelf now. So I'm going to go do that while this video renders and I'll upload this Friday. So 
And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this super long video. I don't know how long it is. It's probably over an hour long. But that is it. Um, I hope you all have an amazing day. And until next time, happy coloring.